<sighs> Good afternoon, everyone. So I got the gas tank off. Um, the guy says he's trying to get a ride now to come pick it up for a hundred bucks. So I told him he can have the whole thing for a hundred bucks. He needs a gas tank. But I told him, you know, it's got a brand new fuel pump in it. I just replaced the fuel pump not that long ago, you know. And it would be stupid for him to take the fuel pump out because that's not an aftermarket fuel pump. That's a that's an OBM GM fuel pump. So he's better off just taking this gas pump. I saved the plastic. I just cut the aluminum off so he could, you know, the plastic wouldn't be cracked. He can literally just put this right in, you know. Pop all these clips out. He'll He could put it right in and he's good to go. That's why I did it like that, you know. This is why I pulled the cab off like this, because, you know, I did it military style, you know. That's how we do it, and, and you know, we don't, we ain't pulling the, I'm not sitting there pulling the fucking drivetrain out the hood, you know, out of the hood and all that shit, up and out. It, it, that's too much work, man. And listen, I did this by myself. Look, your bro, your boy Retrospect, you see that cab? I got this cab off myself. Listen, with a cherry picker, with a cherry picker on some boards, listen to me, man. All I did was take off the four bolts, boom, 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 right? I took two pieces of wood right here, wedge them underneath right here on both sides. Grab the fucking strap, put it around the cab on this side, took the cherry picker, lifted it up, lifted it up over the motor, bam. It slid right off, right onto the ground like that. Just literally just went up, over, and slid down. All by myself. Listen, man, I'm only, listen, the biggest I've ever been is 215. I'm 143 pounds. That's the way I'm supposed to be, man. I'm supposed to be 150 pounds. And listen, I'll knock your fucking block off. You hear me? I'll knock your fucking block off. I don't care how big you are. You hear me? And that's facts. It don't matter how big you are, man. And I got the H-bomb behind me anyway. So go ahead and try me. Come bring your stupid shit this way. And see what the fuck happens. But some kid came by, a little kid, man. Uh, he wanted my keyboard for five bucks. So he said he had some allowance. And his brother Tristan, the kid I gave the, uh, traded the, if you look at the other video, I traded him uh, a pair of white shoes for these ones, you know. And his mom come down here to see if, like, I was getting over on her son. She was concerned. So I'm like, no, I'm not getting over on your son, man, you know. I gave him a whole bunch of stuff. I gave him the keyboard for five bucks. Plus, I gave him a whole bunch of extra shit I didn't need. So I got the five bucks from him. And then his mom uh, cashed at me $10 for the uh, the screen. I told her 20 first. I'm like, you know what, just cash at me 10 bucks. It's yours. And then... Uh, she wanted the dressers, man, and this is, it's hard. People, that, listen, I couldn't tell you how many people come up to me and tell me, I want your dressers, you know. Um, can you bring, she literally, she's like, she's like, I want all all four of those dressers right now. She's like, can you bring them down? And I'm like, I had my head down, you know, because I already knew this is about to be bad. Because I, I told her, I'm like, you know, I don't mean to cut you off, but I'm like, I got to tell you how much I paid for those dressers first before I even, I'm like, I paid three grand, you know, I'm not letting those dressers go for less than 500. And everybody keeps on telling me, well, if they don't sell, just, you know, you let them go. No, I'm not going to, I'm going to put them in the storage unit for my daughter. I'm not losing out on all that money. No, I'm not. It's not going to happen. You I, you know, it's not, I, you know, the other stuff you can, I don't mind working out on, but the dressers, the dresser, I mean, listen, these three dressers, that table, and the cherry red rind table, and that mirror, everything else can go, they can have. Even that chair, they can go. But that mirror, these three tables, that 300-year-old table, the chairs can go too. I already told the guy $25 a chair, hopefully he comes back. But um, that table and the cherry red, time, cherry red table, I'm keeping it unless you're giving me 500 bucks cash. I won't, I won't take any less. The couch is the only one I'm workable on, you know. I, I'm asking 500, you know, but I would, I would take 350. I would take 350 for it, 300 for it. I would. I'd take 100, basically 100 dollars a section. It's because I've had it for so long, you know. Um, you know, it's from the 90s, but look how good condition it is, man. And it's real leather. It's not pleather. It's not gonna crack on you. You know what I'm saying? It, it's soft, you know. 
Listen, I, sl- I sleep on this more than I sleep on my bed. I've slept on this. Listen, when I ran, I had my own cell phone company. I ran my own business. I was sleeping in the back. I couldn't afford to have a house and a business at the same time. I was sleeping in the building. I slept on this. This was in my office. This is where I slept. And I had a big safe next to it. Full of money. But the only reason why I quit that place is people kept on breaking into it and shooting at me. And I started shooting back. So it's time for me to go. When I when I got to shoot back, it's time for me to go. Plus, I was in the hood, you know. I'm, you know, I'm I'm a white boy in the hood. And what's funny is, guess who was breaking into it? White people. They weren't even black people breaking into my building. It was fucking white ass fucking people. White fucking dirt bags. So, but yeah, man. I told her, you know, she thought she was gonna get the dressers for like a hundred bucks. I'm like, what? Yeah, how? I'm sorry, you can look at those dressers and you know they're worth more than a hundred bucks. I'm sorry. Like, you can't, that isn't Ikea furniture. You can tell right away. I even opened up the drawer for her to tell her, you're like, you know, like, listen, man, it's by Drexel. You know, it's a trademark, you know, it's, it's pent and pent, pent and pent, pent. Listen, man, this is real, the real deal. Good, good, man. I always wear my stupid hat. It keeps me cooler. That's why you're bald and you have cancer. No, but I have hair. I protect my head. Cause why? Why would I cut the grass? Why? Why would I cut the grass when I'm leaving? I'm leaving. I'm. I'm gone. This lease is. I do. I'm trying to sell all of this stuff. I'll have it today. <laughs> That's funny, old man. Don't forget you owe me twenty dollars, man. I've given that guy hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars since I've been here. Hundreds, man. Hundreds to help with those cats, and he's bugging me for twenty dollars. This is what I'm. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I can't wait to go. See how scared they are. You ain't gonna clean up after them. You ain't gonna do nothing. It's sad. It's really sad. And I gotta get rid of this shit. People, man. I'm so sick of people. People are so just, they, they always worry about themselves. They never worry about helping others. That's why I like Bill. Bill. Bill's been helping me. Bill's a Christian. Bill's a Jesus. Bill loves Jesus. Bill, that's why Bill is the way he is. Because it isn't him that pushes him to do the things he does. It's Jesus that pushes him to do those things that he does. So, yeah, I'm about to go eat and upload this. Uh, so, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up of what was going on, you know. Um, I Slowly, things are slowly tricking away, you know. And people are buying stuff. And I will, have the end, I will have my truck running by the end of the week, hopefully. So, as long as I can find all the parts, get all the parts together. If not, it'll be the following week, so... Either way, the truck will be up and running. So that's, uh, if you guys are looking forward to uh, seeing some of that stuff, it will be happening. You guys are going to see some uh, cool Chevy stuff, GMC stuff. I'm going to be, I'm going to be taking a lot of older stuff and newer stuff um, of different parts of all different ear vehicles and, and, and putting them together and making this work. So you'll see that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go wash my hands, eat, um, smoke, that type of thing. Talk to the Lord. And then uh, we'll do some Bible study in a little bit when I, when I make another video. So till then, take care. God bless. Stay out of trouble.